Well, as you can see, I'm working on my uh, uh, flammable gas generation experiments, improving the uh, the amount, the rate, the time of day as well. You know, here's the nominal, and uh, yeah, you got bubbles there. Between this one, the bubbles seem to be about the same size, but you can actually see you can see them coming up as well in these bottles. And then this one is a little bit better, larger size bubbles. Uh, but mainly, as I said, the wax candle bits in there are to basically push the bubbles out of the, you know, extract the, the gas out of the water sort of thing. And, um, yeah. But it uh, needs more work, but we are making slow but steady progress. I mean, especially from, now this is a lot better than, you know, what, eight months ago when I was first, first noticed this sort of thing occurring. Uh, so yeah, and uh, you can see the colour is changing as well. So um, yeah, yeah, you know, you go from sort of blue to green to almost yellowy white sort of thing. So uh, yeah, and it makes a difference. So uh, and I'm still working, doing other things as well. But anyway, I'm going to add another probably two or three tonight, and hopefully we might see some improvement. And but this is not bad for you know I put I set these up last night and look at the amount of gas that's been pushed into the water and come out of the water in um, less than 24 hours so uh, you know so now we're now we're going to be looking for uh, longevity how long does this last now does it last only six weeks or something and then the and then the bu bubble slowly slow down and die or does it go for you know six months or a year or something like that. And, and from that sort of idea you can uh, work out when you need to change your peat or your soil or whatever you're using sort of thing. Anyway, I just thought I'd fill you in, fill you in on that and keep you informed. Uh, so this seems to be the tip of the iceberg. CPs and other so-called nutrient-poor plants um, probably seem to grow in soil that has this sort of flammable gas uh, generation. It's the tip of the iceberg. Basically, I think you need to have the flammable gas but, um, generation otherwise there's no way your um, CPs or other related plants you know, your cyanophyta, your um, liverworts and everything that's built up from there probably certain bryophytes and things like that, lichens and things like that uh, they just won't grow uh, if you don't have some source of uh, flammable gas generation either in the soil in the peat etc uh, etc et so anyway I just thought you keep keep me informed of that okay see ya